Hi, welcome to Ukraine USA. In this video, I'm going to tell you how to start speaking in English. I know that a lot of people facing this problem, even I did back to my home country, when you can watch movies without the subtitles, you can read books, you understand what people say, but you cannot start speaking. Well, I will give you some tips from my personal experience. I hope they will help you. First thing you need to know is that a lot of people living in the United States and other English-speaking countries don't speak a perfect English. There are a lot of immigrants from other countries. There is even a lot of people who don't speak English at all. They live in their communities, like Russian communities, Polish communities, Ukrainian. So they don't speak English at all. Everyone is making mistakes and the Americans don't even pay attention to it. They will pretend that they didn't notice or they will correct you in a nice way. But they will never tell you like, don't say like that or stop speaking English or go back to your home country. They will never say that. English speaking people understand that that's not your native tongue and you cannot be perfect in it. So my advice, don't be shy and start speaking. The people around you are human beings. My second advice is to find friends who also speak English. Not only the native speakers, if you cannot find ones, but even the people from different countries who also wants to start speaking. Again, my example, for example, when I was back to my home country, I registered on Facebook and started searching for English speaking groups like English practicing groups and so on. And I found a lot of nice people over there. I was even uh, speaking on Skype with a couple of them. That's a very good experience. I was shy at the beginning, but then um, it helps a lot. It helps you to start speaking. That's the most important thing. I even found a friend, he's from uh, Argentina, and we've been chatting like a year ago. So it's been almost six years from that time when we just started learning English. But you see, there are a lot of nice people over there. The third advice is to start watching movies and TV shows in the original. A lot of people say that, I know, but it's really very important, believe me. When I just came to the United States, I went to South Carolina, and I didn't really understand people's accent and a lot of phrases, like the slang words. They were using them like in everyday life, and we never learned it in any books. And the only place that I've seen them, I would say that that's the movies and TV shows, like the American ones especially about the high schools and so on. They use a lot of slang words, so that's very important. The fourth advice is to decide which country are you going to. You might think it doesn't matter because English is English, but it really does because uh, we studied to speak British English, like with a British accent. When I just came to the United States, they pronounced a lot of words absolutely differently as we learned. They will understand you with no problem, but you might not understand a lot of phrases and words that they use. That's why I would recommend to you decide on the country where you're going. But it doesn't really matter. It's better to start speaking English at all. It doesn't matter with, with which accent you're gonna do that. And in general, guys, Americans likes different accents. They even tell me that it's cute. For example, they, they say that all the time about my Russian accent. They will not punish you. So don't be shy and start speaking. They will love the way you speak in English better than if you start speaking with them in, in your native language. So these are the practices that helped me to start speaking English. Please write down in comments below what were yours, how did you start speaking or if you still have any troubles. I'm willing to know all that. And please let me know if you like this video and subscribe if you didn't do so. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you soon.